Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I miss you guys. So recently I started a new job. So I am being through training right now. I'm covering for a colleague who will be on maternity leave. So yeah, the work is pretty hectic because I have to learn the new procedures, the new process in a short period of time. So I always feel that burden or pressure on my shoulder. So every day after that eight hours, I just completely just wiped out. Like I feel like all my energy are sucked out of me through the job. So all I wanna do is just relax and watch YouTube or watch movies, something that I don't have to talk, something that I don't have to use my brain. So I let the YouTube video making be sliding a little bit. But now I feel like I'm starting to get a hang of everything. I started to really get a grip of the things and how it goes. And I am familiar with the software. I am familiar with the process. And also I'm familiar with the department people that I'm working with. So I feel much better now. That's why I want to come back on here again. Because this is what I really, really love to do. And with that being said, today I want to do a collective haul. Just because I don't have the time to film doesn't mean I don't have the time to shop. In fact, that's one of the things I love to do when I have my downtime, especially when I get my paycheck, because what better way to spend money than on the newest hottest makeup? So yeah, I order a lot, a lot online because that's just easy. I don't even feel like go to the mall, even though my work is literally right across the mall. Like I literally have Sephora, I have everything. I have Nordstrom, I have Bloomingdale's, I have uh, Shakespeare's Avenue, like I have all the department stores as well. I just don't feel like going, like, um, ironically, because I'm such a shopaholic, but I really feel like the work really kind of requires a lot of attention and requires a lot of energy. So I'm really just want to do a good job. I want to step in the team. I want to be a contributing team member. I don't want to let anyone down and I don't want to make any mistakes that under my watch. So yeah, I've just been busy, but you still got to have love to find time to do stuff you love, right? So I'm going to do an altar haul. Actually, this is not just an altar haul. I also got something from Kohl's. So I want to combine it here so that you guys can all like, see, like watch what I got in one video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So the first item I got from Ulta is this L'Oreal Luminous X Fiber mascara so this one is being trending on youtube right now and a lot of people saying it's so good because it has two ended ones one side is a black primer the other side is a fiber infused mascara and people saying great things about this they saying that it will really make their lashes longer and because there's a primer so you really can extend the length and also it'll just be really natural you don't have to wear false lashes which I can totally relate because I love false lashes but honestly as a working girl especially you have a tight schedule in the morning I don't have time to sit around and glue my lashes I still want to look put together so I use false lashes no uh, I use mascara sorry but with mascara you know some will give you that really luminous look some will just I don't know clumpy in a way so I'm always in a search for the next great mascara so when a lot of people rave about this one, I'm like, I have to try this one. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really intriguing. And the wand here looks really nice. Like I love this kind of wand design. Usually I'm more going for this kind of design than like the super thick, like kind of clumpy kind of looking ones. So yeah, I'm excited to give it a try. And I will keep you guys updated on this one. So that's the first item. Then the second item I got is actually a not a beauty blender this is actually from target by the way so i have some stuff from target as well i just somehow just put them all together and this is the total face sponge so this is the new one the reason why i bought it is a because it's cheap it's like three dollars or four dollars the most and b it's a different color because usually elf always have the black packaging with like i don't know pink kind of light pink blender but then this one is fuchsia so i really really want to try it and in the back it says it's the total face sponge and the multi-sided scalping sponge has angled sides for illuminating highlighting and a rounded sides for flawless blending the precision point is perfect for concealing imperfections works with liquid and powder so it's just 
really similar to the Real Technique one. And I love Real Technique one. I literally have a box, like a gift box in the holiday set. It has like 16 or like 20 beauty blenders or beauty sponges, Real Technique ones. I use all of them. Like I have already went through the whole box. Every single one of them I used. So that's just how much I love the design of the sponge. So I'm willing to give this one a try and let you guys know how I think about this one. The next item I actually already opened and I used today. So this is a brush and I got in the Target hair section. It is called Wet Brush. So here is what it looks like. And this is a detangle brush. But the thing is that it has a handle. So that's why I really, really love because of the handle. I love the Tangle Teaser one from Sephora. But I just sometimes feel like instead of holding it, I kind of want a handle. I miss a handle. So when I saw this in Target hair section, I'm like, yes, I have to try it. And uh, honestly, first impression wise, I feel like the teeth is not like long enough if you can see from this side. Can you see that? It's not super long. So that's something that I'm a little bit disappointed because with the Tangle Teaser, it's super long. So you just brush it. It will brush inside of your hair really nicely. And this is the hair that I actually brush mostly using the Tangle Teaser because I, I feel like this one doesn't give me enough of a brushing power because it's pretty short, like the individual comb. It's pretty short. So it doesn't go inside of my hair and then detangles them so I just I don't know I don't think I will return it just because it's very convenient and I love the handle this is like a nice grip so it won't be easy to break because you know some cheap handles it might break off really easily which is a waste of money in my opinion but I feel like this one won't break easily even though the cone is not long enough to my liking I think I'll still keep it because a, I'm lazy. I don't like to return shit. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like to return stuff. B, I just feel like this can be a nice like surface brush, if that makes sense. Like if you just want a quick brush in the morning, you don't expect to really detangle everything and styling them, I think this can be a great one. And also, I'm just always misplace those tangle teasers so I always want multiple brushes in different locations on my house so that I can just you know locate one them really quickly and just brush my hair on the go so yeah I got this from Target and yeah I like it so the next one that I want to talk about is another mascara so actually I have another version of this mascara this is a Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara, but this one is a waterproof mascara. So that's the main reason why I got it, because I love the Maybelline Total Temptation, the original version that's in like a beige packaging. I love that one. So the only thing is that when you work an eight hour day, sometimes you just, I don't know, you rub your eyes a little bit or whatever happens. You just, I don't know, like the mascara sometimes can run off if it's not waterproof so that's why i feel like a waterproof mascara is pretty important in my opinion if you have to go out for like extended time period and you don't have access to really like touch up your makeup all the time or doing all kinds of like fixing so that's why i want to try this one and i have already loved the wand i love how this mascara make my lashes look in the original format so that's why when i saw this just without hesitation i'm like yes i want to try it and this time i got a different color i got a brownish black so it's not like a total black which i like sometimes if it's too black and if you put a little bit too much and you look closer in person it can be a little bit too much so like say if i'm just filming this is camera sometimes if you just do a little bit too much it doesn't matter because you know the camera they don't pick up everything but it's another thing if you have to wear your makeup and you have to work with your colleagues the last thing you want is to see that let them see like the clumpy mascara or whatever so that's why i feel like a brown will be a more natural choices compared with like the all black so i'm down to give this one a try and i really like the wand so just in case you haven't saw the wand in the original format, that's the wand looks like. It's just a very natural shape and it will reach to every single one of the lashes pretty easily, I'd say. So yeah, I really love it. This one is good. 
And then I got some exciting babies. The next item that I got is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Makeup Revolution London Sophie X Highlighting Palette. So I believe this is a collaboration with a, a British YouTuber. I never know who she is. I still don't know who she is. I guess I'm just, I'm more like following like American YouTuber. The only British YouTuber that I know I think is Zoe or Zoelle. She's pretty big so it's not like, you know, a very specialty YouTuber. I think she's top, one of the top British YouTuber. And, uh, but I saw this palette in my local Alta. My local Alta recently revamping their drugstore side and they put the whole display with Makeup Revolution with testers underneath. I think that's super smart. I can save room, save location, like save room in the shelf and everything. I like that. They also put up the whole essence shelf. I love it. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so interesting. Kind of reminds me of sleek makeup. I'm not gonna lie, like even the color, the texture of the highlight really reminds me of that one. I'm wondering if this is a dupe, because Makeup Revolution is famous for its dupe. In fact, last week when I went to the store, I saw the display, I saw like the palette that looks really like a modern renaissance, I saw the palette look really like the subculture, they're only $7. I don't know, I think that's still debatable, you know what I'm saying? Like. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that like people copying other people's design or color pattern and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I almost got it, but then I got another eyeshadow palette. I'll show you in a minute. So, but I just want to let you know that if you really want to dupe and you want affordable choices of Anastasia, Modern Renaissance, or Subculture, go check out Makeup Revolution, especially now in Alta store. They might have that carry in store instead of you have to buy it online so that you can go in and swatch with them, play with them, make sure you like them. So yeah, that's just the information. And back to this palette. I really love the packaging. I really love the design. I love the colors. And I swatched them in store and it looks beautifully. So that's why I decided to pick it up. And here is the packaging looks like it's all plastic because it's cheap so they don't... You know, usually if you pay like a lesser price, you just expect it to have lesser of a packaging. So I just say this is kind of like a cheap plastic. You know, even with plastic, they have like expensive plastic and cheap plastic, if that makes sense. So here you have this eight shades. I really love all the shades. I think they're super wearable. And uh, let me swatch it for you guys. So that's one swap. I just swatched this color. That's pretty nice. Let's swatch this color. It's super pigmented. That's why I'm like, yes, I want to buy it. Because when you buy stuff, you buy for the product itself, you know? Because with makeup packaging, I have all the nice packaged items, but it's not like... I use them way more than those. It's all ultimately comes down to whether I like the color that looks on my skin or not. So I really love this. That's why I bought it. Here, look at this. It's not super blinding, I'd say, but I like it because I don't want it to be super blending to begin with. So here is that one. The last one is not really showing because it's super close to my own natural skin color. So all in all, I think this is a great palette. I really, really like it. And then the next, I got an ultra blush palette. This is called Sugar and Spice. So this is their older packaging compared to the last one I just showed you guys. But honestly, this packaging is way nicer. First, I love the design and second, you see, it has a mirror, which is so nice. And then inside, you have eight blushes. I love those blushes. They're just so nice, and it looks so nice. I really love this color. I think it's so beautiful. I believe this is $12. And the powder feels so, like, smooth when you touch them. Damn. It's not a really nice swatch. So let's swatch one more time. Here. See that? I really like that color. It's like a fuchsia kind of a color and then you also have this okay let's swatch this one 
I'm always drawn to like brighter shades. This is kind of a nice peachy color, so it's right here. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then the, let's swatch a uh, darker pink right here. Do it right here. Look at that. Very, very pigmented. I really, really like it. Let me swatch the purple one here. I love it. Kind of matches my nail. See? I feel like with those shades, it's so like um, wearable shades on the daily. If you're like me, you go to work and you're time crunching, you just pick this palette and just, you know, use one shade or mix and match the two shades and you can use this as a light contour as well. Then you can just good to go. I probably gonna use this shade for like a brown like a nose contour if I have more time because I just sometimes like to be a little bit extra. The next Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow palette is this one. This is also a collab with Sophie X and uh, this has 24 eyeshadows. Let me tell you this one is beautiful. I'll show you in one sec but this is the packaging so I think it's a collaboration they're trying to um, be different from their traditional packaging which are all black I like that I only wish they can use a better quality of plastic because you know it's just plastic but anyway I understand that sometimes you have to control the cost so I have no complaint about the cap cap packaging anyway I just really love the design I think it's super cool so here is the packaging it's definitely like a different packaging but it's kind of the same scheme as the highlighting palette it's just more like a matte packaging with all the stays through but i like it same with the material i feel like this is still a nicer material these are kind of similar but it's just have a different design and when you open it up you have a mirror you have a screen protector with all the colors on, I really love this. I'm gonna keep this. So those are the shadows. How pretty are those shadows? I really, really love these shadows. I think they are so beautiful. I I guess one of the reasons why I really wanna buy it is that in one palette, you will have so many different colors. You can create so many different looks. I think that's super amazing. And mainly like those kind of looks, I don't think you will find it like a lot, I guess, in especially drugstore makeup. So I really admire them for being kind of a pioneer in this. And I love this fuchsia shade. I think it's so cool. And here is the color. How beautiful is that? So here is the look. Isn't that like a nice, nice color? I just really, really like it. And then you also have this kind of brownish color. That's the swatch. So here is the color looks like. I just really, really love the overall shades of this. I just feel like it just exceed all the expectations. And I love how it was aligned. Like it's kind of like a chocolate. I love all these colors. It's definitely have a variety of shades. You also have a very wearable shade like this, like this, and then you have some crazy dramatic shades. You have a white base shade. I just think it's so perfect. It's just really, really bomb for Makeup Revolution. I highly recommend you guys pick it up. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio highlighter. It is a metallic highlighter in the shade number 50, Mountain Rose Gold. So if you guys know like Maybelline, you watch YouTube last year, Maybelline has the first metallic chrome highlighter and it's called Mountain Gold. Everyone raves about it. Everyone thinks it's so great, myself included. The reason being is that I feel like this is a high quality highlighter but at a drugstore price point. So there's no reason why everyone's so rave about this. And even the plastic, that's my point. They use a really, really nice plastic. It's not like a cheap plastic. So I really, really like it. So because of the success of the Mountain Gold, they expand the whole line to Mountain Rose Gold. They also have a purple shade. I just pick up the Rose Gold because I feel like I will use this the most. So here is the inside looks like. Look how beautiful. It's just so beautiful. 
and it has a nice rose gold sheen to it. It feels so nice. And here you have it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful shade. I just can't help it. I think it's so beautiful. And then I love the design. I love the size of the highlighter. It reminds me a lot of the MAC highlighter. So I really, really like it. And I love this packaging. I know that MAC is also plastic, but I honestly prefer this kind of plastic because I think it's thicker and I love the look of this. I just think it's so nice. And it feels just nice, luxurious. So yeah, I feel like they nailed this product. That's why as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yes, honey, this comes home with me. This comes home to mama. So I got this one and I absolutely love this one. Highly recommend. Moving out, I got two blushes from Makeup Revolution. And I actually have a third one that I had I got previously. So basically I got all three of the Makeup Revolution blushes. So the two new ones that I got are the matte blush in the color Beloved. So this is a beautiful, nice, how to call it, blushing shade. Cause it's like a pinkish blush shade. So I got this one and then I also got the nude one. I love the nude one. This reminds me a lot of the Bare Minerals new blush. I got one in the color nude, the Gem Nude Blushes. I feel like this can be a dupe. I need to test it out further, but I really like it. And I love the packaging. And I also have this one in Fusion. So this is the old one that I already have in my collection. I always love this one. I feel like this one is a bomb because look how beautiful is this color. I use this so much and even if I use it a lot, you can see it doesn't really show anything. So you can basically use it forever in my opinion. I just love this color. It looks just like a MAC blush but like at a fraction of the cost. So it's just so nice when you find something that's so good but at such a affordable price. It's always so happy. It's one of my hobby to find something like that. So yeah, I really, really love this blush. I just always use it. Let me swatch it. It feels so soft. So here is the blush right here. So this one is nude color. I really, really love this color. Let's swatch it. it feels so good. Look at that. So here is the nude. If you can see right here very subtle hand of nude i love the color i think it looks well on a lot of different skin tones honestly i just think it's pretty nice so that's that and then lastly we have the beloved we really love this name beloved i want to be beloved so here is the color if you're curious about the color comparison here is Beloved, here is Fusion. So as you can see, they are totally different shades. I love them both. I think they're both really, really nice, really, really amazing. And I love the lighter pink, especially now spring is coming. So I think a lighter pink will be really, really nice for any kind of loca location you can wear to work. So yeah, that's the three blushes that I'm buying from Ulta. So moving on, I have um oh yeah just to show you guys the melting gold so this is the melting gold this is the number 100 this is number 50 so as you can see that's the difference i just want you guys to see that melting gold melting rose gold so it really depends on your preference for me because it's so affordable i got it both so melting gold Mountain rose gold, but honestly, I feel like the mountain gold, in my opinion, still is my fave because I just think, see that, I just feel like it's just a hint better formulated, in my opinion. I feel like the rose gold is a little bit choppy, but not so much. I think I can also just get past the fact that it's a little bit choppy. See the gold. I feel like the gold. It's still the one that take, takes the cake. But yeah, I love them both. I think they're both really good and amazing. 
so yeah just want to show you guys and then the last one is a bronzer from l'oreal so this is a brand new true match lumi bronzer sun kiss bronzer for face and body so this is their new item and once i saw this i'm like yes honey i have to try it so this is in the shade number two medium so i got a medium shade so here is the packaging look how big the pen is i feel like you can use this for like not only entire summer but like an entire year if you don't want to just grow tired of them i think you can keep using them like how big it is i love 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 this item i think it's so bomb and uh, here is the swatch as you can see i feel like i'm running out of places for swatches but it's just so nice let me show you somehow it's not really like showing on my swatch but honestly what i learned for doing makeup for so long is that you can't really judge something solely based on the swatch because sometimes i feel like the swatch is so light but then when i use it on my face it was like oh that's so much i put on too much i have that happened to me a lot actually so that's why i don't really judge that based on that so let's just use a brush this is the new wet and wild brush in the rose gold collection and this is in the uh, style p60 i really really love this kind of a i don't know angle top i think it's so nice and this is so soft like if you want affordable brush and have great performance when and while try this one i don't think you will regret it because it's just so soft and also sony cashier actually comes out with a whole line of brushes in target it has a whole display and everything it's so bomb so amazing i have bought some so if you want to see a target haul just let me know i will do a target haul i have so many exciting items that i want to share with you guys that is from target so i will do that next but this one let me tell you it's really really good so i'm gonna just pick it up see easily pick up a lot of item did you see that barely touching my face really barely touching my face it's already there it's really really good i always like do this so that comes off a little bit i just think this one is super amazing you just can't really go wrong with this honestly so I figured that's the best way to actually swatch it is just to apply it so that you guys can see the application on my face. It's really nice and this is like $14 so it's really not that pricey. I really really recommend you guys get it. I think it's worth it, worth the money everything so yeah that's that so that's it that's my auto haul today i actually have more stuff that i want to share but i don't want the video to be too long so i'm gonna do either a target haul first or i'm doing a part two of alta or i could just do a collective haul with everything because i also have stuff from sephora so yeah that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time